Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Just want to say good evening to everyone, both the East and West Coast. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed your day today here on Wednesday. Hope you guys are also enjoying your week so far. And for this video tonight, I want to talk about thousands of Grey's Anatomy fans are petitioning to save Mick Dreamy. So, let's get right into this. The link will be in the description below. This is from um, BuzzFeed.com, posted by Rachel, uh, Rachel Zarel uh, for the website for the uh, 27th of April, 2015, which was a couple months ago, but even though I know it was late, I want to get my thoughts on it, so I'm going to tell you guys what I think. And it says, and, rough, and roughly half the women in the U.S. were like, why? One fan named Corey Williams has said enough is enough and started a change or petition against Shonda Rhimes, Patrick Dempsey, and ABC to bring back Dr. Shepard. Why Shonda? Why? She wrote. Williams, 27, told BuzzFeed News she was inspired to create the petition because of how much she loves the show. You never really know how deep you're emotionally invested into a television show until something th this dramatic happens, the Atlanta resident said. Crazy Nami is more than just a television show when you're at year 11. Rhymes is notorious for killing off her main characters, and the decade-long show has had a handful killed in dramatic ways over the years, which, of which Williams makes it quite clear she's had enough. This is what Williams said. You do not have someone survive a mass murder, a plane crash, a freaking plane crash, and a crushed hand as a new assurance just to kill them off on a beautiful day. Seriously? Seriously, Shonda. Seriously, Miss Rhymes. By Monday afternoon, the petition had already gotten over 26,000 signatures. Although I had hoped and wished this petition would reach a lot of people that might have felt how I did, never had I thought nor was expected I would over I would have over twenty five thousand people sign it. Williams told BuzzFeed News uh me, Williams told BuzzFeed News. And fans pretty much echoed Williams uh, aggravated sentiment. And there are comments from those who uh talked about the situation, which I'm not gonna get into, so I will continue. In, in the petition, Williams writes that the hospital should either be shut down or the whole thing should be a dream. It's like you've killed the president of Grace Anatomy, she wrote. You do not get to toy with our lives and emotions like this, Shonda. No. This is not right. How do we sleep at night? The recent college graduate told BuzzFeed News she's not sure if she can keep watching it after the neurosurgeon's death. I had to find a new show to watch last Friday because I literally felt like it was too soon. To know that he's permanently gone. It brings so much emotion, she said. Your move, Shonda. Um, huh. Wow. You know, I have to say, this, um, this, 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 this looks really ridiculous. I mean, look, I can understand that people were very upset with what happened with uh, Patrick uh, Dempsey, you know, him leaving the show and the character of, of Dr. Derek Shepard pretty much is killed off and will be coming back. It's, it's a show, guys. Don't take it too seriously. I mean, I, I understand respect that you love the show and that you want to, you know, see all the characters you want to, you know, uh, on the show and have being involved in storylines and stuff, but there comes a time where you, you have to move on. And Patrick Deffy's case, who played Derek Shepard, he moved on. And I heard that he wanted to do a project. So, and that he was actually let go. And um, even though he was signed to a two-year contract, so that's pretty much not his fault. That's his decision. And, um, you know, I mean, what can I say? What else can I say? The thing about it is, um, you know, Shonda Rhimes, whether you like her or not, she is just doing her job to make sure that the show is better, to make sure that the, sh make sure that the show uh, succeeds, that, that the show has storylines that will get people's attention. And, you know, you may not agree with her decisions or... You may not agree or disagree with her decisions at all, but at the end of the day, it's her call to make. Um, I mean, look, it's unfortunate and sad for Patrick Dempsey. I wasn't a big Grace Nally fan until a friend of mine showed me, um, you know, showed me the show, and I started to watch some episodes of it. I do like, I, I do like uh, Callie, Arizona, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Derek and Meredith. Uh, who else? Jackson, April. I liked them as well. And uh, I think what's better is that we just all move forward for our lives and, and know that there are much more things to worry about. 
we'll probably see uh, Patrick Dempsey return as Eric Shepard, maybe for a dream sequence or something else. So, look, it's not the end of the world, guys. So let's just get over it, move forward. If you don't like what's going on in Grey's Anatomy, don't watch it. Plain and simple. Uh, but tell me, Constable, guys, what you think about this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in the middle or neutral about the thousands of Grey Anatomy fans are pre that are predicting the same McDreamy? And if so, tell me in the search comments down below. Don't forget to uh, like this video. Don't forget to always subscribe to my channel, guys. And until next time, this is Nancy saying peace. Take care. I will see you guys later for this video coming up uh, tomorrow morning or in comments. So stay tuned. So until next time, take care, guys. And I will see you guys later. Uh, peace. Have a good Wednesday. Have a good night. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, lots of video content coming up. So uh, stay tuned for on my channel. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Bye.